giant. It's been four years since protesters of the president's health care overhaul confronted their representatives during those hostile town hall meetings. And now, in an effort to revive the movement to stop Obamacare, the Heritage Action for America will host nine town hall meetings all across the country to promote the growing effort to defund Obamacare. So is this the beginning of round two of these fiery town halls? Here to tell us someone who will be attending the meetings, the Heritage Action, the Heritage Foundation president and former South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint. Senator, great to see you. David, it's great to be with you. This is going to be an exciting tour, and I'm glad to be invited by Heritage Action uh, to go all around the country and get the American people engaged. Senator, as an original Tea Party founder, I'd like to see this. The Tea Parties went local, they went home, they went to educate themselves. And it's great to see think tanks, which I have historically called areas that think and not do, actually do. So think tanks think, but now the Heritage Action is planning to do. What's your first goal with this? Well, we know that Obamacare is unfair, it's unaffordable, unworkable, and very unpopular. And this may be our last best chance to stop it. A lot of folks don't know, David, that in less than two months, October the 1st, Americans will begin to be forced into signing up for Obamacare. If not, individuals will get fined. Now, it's unfair because the president's given waivers to Congress and unions and big corporations, but not to individuals. And many young people could pay two or three times what they've been paying for health insurance. And so this, this is an urgent matter. The bill will hurt our country. It will hurt people. And we want to tell Americans that if they just get in touch with their congressmen and senators and tell them to fund the government, but don't fund Obamacare. It makes no sense when part of this bill has already been delayed. Uh, we need to defund the rest of it. Senator, to keep this pressure up, you have to go to those millennials because they're the ones that will pay for this. Their yes, children will. will pay for this. How do you reach them? Because one of the challenges as conservatives is getting to those younger people and getting them to understand this proposition that this is your cost, this is where you're going to pay for it. Well, it's a little easier for us outside of politics. Uh, we're not representing the Republicans or Democrats. We're talking to young people about their hopes and dreams, their opportunities, and trying to explain to them is this thing basically bankrupts the government, uh, that a lot of the things they dream about and hope for are not going to happen. And so we need to connect it with what they care about. And we found when we talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, they get it. More and more folks understand that this is a joke, <laughs> is the word they use a lot. So we cannot allow Congress to fund something that the majority of Americans feel like is a joke, but it's going to be no joke when people end up paying thousands more a year for something and getting less for it. Many doctors are not even going to take the type of health care, the health care plans that these folks are going to end up on. What is the, who are the good guys in there that are working with us, Senator? Because Americans look and they go, it's the political class versus all of us. And you're right. It's not a partisan issue. We're all going to suffer under Obamacare. Who are those good guys that are going to step out on the road with you that are going to stand up for the American people and actually write legislation that we can get through to stop this? Well, there are some great advocates in the Senate. Ted Cruz will be with us in some of these town halls. His dad, Raphael, is one of the more inspiring people that I know. I can see where Ted got his fire from. But Raphael is going to be traveling with us to all of the cities. But Mike Lee has been a real champion on this, Rand Paul, Marco Rubio. So some of the champions that have just come into the Senate in the last few years are going to be out on the road over, over the break. Uh, talking about how bad this bill is and how there are so many good choices to Obamacare to get people better health care that actually is going to deliver a better health care system for America. So it's time for Americans to get engaged again. We saw what they did in 2010 when they stood up and spoke out. Uh, that's what we're trying to do is, is reunite a lot of Americans around this effort to stop Obamacare. All right, you're an old marketing guy, so let's bring the marketing back into play. 
how do you get to Democrats, specifically and independents, with this effort? They have to buy in, Senator. We know that the conservatives get this message, but you have to get out to those independents and Democrats. We really do, and I think independents are definitely moving our way. We know already a majority of Americans uh, want this bill stopped. We saw in the House, I think it was 17 Democrats voted with the Republicans to repeal it, and the more pressure that the American people put on Congress, the more likely some of the Democrats will break with uh, President Obama and Harry Reid and vote with the American people. We've got to make it feel like in Washington that Americans want this thing stopped. We know they do. We've talked to them. But we've got to make a little no noise during August to make sure the folks in Congress are listening because uh, they're a little hard of hearing. So you're starting off in Arkansas, you're working your way to Wilmington, Delaware. Is that a message for Joe Biden, one of the biggest shouting hawks on Obamacare? It, it is, and I hope folks will go to heritageaction.com slash townhall, find out all the cities we're going in. And, and it's not just going to be there. We're working the whole country through uh, folks who volunteer for Heritage Action and a lot of other conservative groups. So I think you'll see people all over the country going out to any town halls that uh, congressmen uh, and senators dare to have and giving them an earful. Well, if they're there to have them, I'm sure you'll be there to have Adam. I like it, Senator, a think tank that's going to actually do the faculties coming out of the lounge. Thank you, Senator DeMint. Thank you, David.